Welcome to this tutorial on how to create a Google Drive folder when a Google Calendar event is ended or completed. So guys, if you're using Google Calendar for taking appointments and keeping the track of your events, then you may also find it really helpful to create a folder in Google Drive in which you can store the related files and documents of the event separately. But guys, manually creating those folders and manually adding the files can be really tedious and time consuming. But fortunately, we have an automation for this, which can uh, create folders whenever any event in Google Calendar ended in Google Drive automatically so that you can store the files related to that event automatic uh, inside the folder. Okay. And guys, uh, not only this, a folder will be created and the folder will be shared with all the attendees of the event also automatically and the details of the event will also be added in a Google Sheet automatically. And guys, we can set up this whole automation without any much hazel just by a few clicks without any coding. So let me show you how you can also set up this automation. To set up this automation guys, we are using Pavli Connect application, which is an automation and integration tool. And this is the landing page of Pavli Connect. And I'm going to paste this same link in the description as well so that you can sign up for free from here and you will get free automation tasks every month to test and set up your automations. So you can just sign up right now from the given link. After that, you have to sign in and select Pavli Connect product from here and you will reach the dashboard of Pavli Connect. From here, guys, you have to click on this create workflow button. Here you can give a suitable name to your workflow as well. So I am giving the name here as Google Calendar, Google Calendar Events to Google Drive Folder. Okay, so you can give any other name as you want so that you can know which type of workflow it is. And after that, click on create button and you will see your workflow page loading up like this. And on this page, guys, you will find these two modules, the trigger and the action. So with the help of these two things, we can set up any automation. So trigger is that event which start a workflow and the action is the automated consequence or the response of the trigger. So in our use case, guys, uh, Completion of any event in Google Calendar is going to trigger this workflow and the action would be to add a folder in Google Drive. Okay, so for this to happen, we are going to connect Google Calendar application as our trigger application. Okay, so search for Google Calendar here. Okay, here it is selected. Then you have to select the trigger event as event ended. Here you can see this trigger event when you select this trigger event whenever there is an event which is going to end and when it is ended it is going to start this workflow okay so after that click on connect button and from here select add new connection option and then click on sign in with Google and from here you have to choose that Google account by which you have access to the calendar in which you are adding the events okay so select that Google account and from here, you have to provide some additional access to Pabli Connect. Just click on continue from here. That is completely safe and the authorization will be successful and you will be connected like this. Okay, so we are connected with our Google Calendar application. And uh, here you can see this is my Google Calendar, which we have connected. And here you can see guys, these are the calendars I have created. And you will find this same list here also. When you click here, you will find the list of the calendars that you have. Right now, I am using this calendar named as Pabli Connect. Okay, so you have to select the calendar name from this list like this Pabli Connect. And here you can see guys, uh, let me show you how it is going to work. Uh, let us just create a event here. And the here we have this save and send test request button. And as I'm going to add the event here, and we are going to click on save and send test request the details of that calendar uh, of that event will be captured here in this response section. Okay, so let me show you here. Uh, this is today's date. Let me add a demo event here. 
and here uh, it is a event I have selected event this is the date you can add a time as well so let's say this event is going to end at 3 o'clock okay 3 0 right here you can add guests to this event so I'm adding some guests okay so I have added three guests here you can provide a small description as well I'm adding the description as this demo for testing so we are creating this event just to capture the details of that event so that we can uh, use this data as the test data for us to set up the automation further so you can see I have uh, added all the re required details and here I'm clicking on save so if you have any files uh, related to the event you can attach the files you can add locations anything you want here I'm clicking on save okay I do not want to send invitations right now so I'm clicking don't send and here you can see the event is created here and it is going to end a few minutes ago uh, you, a few minutes uh, after and here guys we have this save and send test request button let me click on it and this recent event will be captured here like this you can see the summary demo event status is confirmed the date time is this start date time this is the calendar's name okay and here you can see the details of these invitees as well okay so guys here when you click on save and send test request you will see the invitees email addresses one by one like this so guys before capturing the response here we need to toggle this simple response button to off why we are doing this i'll tell you just toggle this off then click on save and send test request one more time and now the response will look like this and here you will get the email addresses of the attendees in this array of data format okay so when we got this array format we can segregate this data using a feature of Pavli which is called iterator so why we are using iterator iterator will make this workflow run one by one for every email address that you have okay starting from the first so that's why we have captured this data in this array format by toggling the simple response button to off so that we can apply iterator here you can see in the sections there we have this iterator feature select that and then you have to select uh, the array that you got here so when you click here guys on this choose array field it will show you the previous step and this array so you can select it from here only then click on save and send test request button and here you can see we got the first email address uh, segregated like this okay now guys after that click on this plus icon and another action step will open up and we want to create a folder for this event in my google drive for that to happen connect with google drive here just search for google drive select it then select the action event as create a file or folder and click on connect from here select add new connection then click on sign in with google from here you have to choose that google account by which you have access to the drive in which you want to create a folder then you have to provide some additional access that is completely safe just click on continue and you will be connected all right so after getting connected it will ask for the files name and the file type so from this file type option first of all select folder because we are going to create a folder not a file and here you can give a name to this folder so i am giving the name of the folder on the name of the event that we got here so here we have received the event summary in the first step and here is the name of the event so i'm going to map this label here in this step guys so to map the label here you just have to click here on this field and the previous steps will appear here in the drop down so from the first step map the summary label like this all right and then click on save and send test request button and a new folder will be created here in this drive this is my drive guys and these are the folders i have so guys let's check our connection with google drive here i'm going to click on save and send test request button and a new folder will be created here in this drive let me show you i'm clicking on save and send test request button all right this is the response we have received let us check in our drive if we got a new folder created so let me search for the folder's name 
that is demo okay all right and let me change the filter type as folders and here you can see we got a new folder created here automatically with the same name demo event okay so here's how you, it is going to work and now guys i want to provide the access to this uh, this folder to the attendees of the event so i'm going to share this folder and to share this folder automatically you have to click on this plus icon and from the section step search for google drive again okay and here you will find an action event which is share a file or folder by id okay so here you can see guys in the previous step we have got a new id created of a new folder here in this response section so with the help of this id we are going to share this folder so select share a file or folder by id option then click on connect from here select now guys we have already connected with google drive and every connection that you make here in your uh, workflows are saved in your account so if you want to make the connections again with the same application in the same workflow or in a different workflow you can use that saved connection okay so we have already created the connection so i'm going to select this existing connection option and here it will show you the list of all your saved connections from here you can choose any connection and after that you just have to click on save and you will be connected again like this okay and here you have to uh, enter the file or folders id that you want to share so guys here you can see we have received this id of a new folder and i'm going to map this id here in this field so you have to toggle this map button to on here then you have to erase this field and from this last step map this id of the new folder that you just got created and here you have to provide the email address of that person uh, to which you want to share this folder okay so here you can see guys we got the attendee email addresses here in the first step and we have separated out the email addresses one by one user using iterator so with the help of this email label of iterator i am going to map the email address of the attendees here so just click here and from the second step map the email label so guys when you map the labels here like this in real time after setting up this whole automation these labels are going to be updated automatically and the emails will be delivered uh, to all the attendees one by one because we have applied the iterator okay now you can select a role for this person the person can edit or can view you can select any option i am selecting can comment okay whether to send a notification email yes we do want to send a notification email to the attendee that uh, telling him that we have shared this folder for you uh, with you okay and here i am clicking on save and send test request and this folder will be shared with our attendees like this okay and the role is commenter okay finally guys we want to add the details of the calendar event in my spreadsheet here that i have in google sheets application and to add the data here just click here on this plus icon and i am going to connect with google sheets in this step so the connection process of google sheets is same as that of google drive and google calendar and the action event we are using here is add new row okay so click on connect from here add new connection but i have already connected with google sheets so i'm going to use my existing option an existing connection all right and after that i just have to click on save and i'll be connected again like this okay here I'm going to select the spreadsheet's name. So my spreadsheet's name is this GC event details. So select this name here like this. All right. And then it will ask for the sheet's name. So we have only one sheet here named as sheet one. So it will be auto populated like this. Okay. Right. Then it will ask for these three things, events name, ended at, and the description, if any. So these are the headers of the columns that I have in my spreadsheet. And I'm going to add the details here in these columns. Let me show you how. So just click here on the event name and from this first step, map the summary label to add the event's name. Ended at, you will find the end date of the event here in this end date label. Let me show you. Here is end date label. Just map it. If you have any description, you can provide the description label here like this. 
then you can check your connection by clicking on save and send test request and a new row will be added here let me show you i have clicked on save and send test request button and this is the response we have received let me show you the spreadsheet now all right here you can see guys a new row is added here with the details like these and these are the same things i have mapped here and the same things got added here in the spreadsheet so this is how it is going to work guys so we are done setting up this automation and you have to set up this automation only once after that you don't even have to open this workflow after that in real time whenever there is an event which is going to end in your uh, google calendar this workflow is going to trigger create a folder in google drive share the folder with the attendees and add the details in the spreadsheet automatically and guys you can use this workflow as well as i'm going to paste the link of the same workflow in the description you can clone this workflow in your own free pavli connect account and start using this automation instantly guys thank you so much for watching our video and please please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section and if you have any queries related to this application please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link and guys we are open to ideas if you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel